Do you want your pages to rank better in Google search? Today, you'll learn how to fix duplicate without user selected canonical errors in Google Search Console and get the right pages showing up in the search results. A duplicate without user selected canonical error happens when Google finds multiple pages with the same or similar content on a site, but there's no canonical tag showing which page should be considered the main primary version you want to appear in search results. When this happens, search engines might struggle to pick which page deserve to rank, potentially leading to keyword cannibalization. And this can negatively affect your site's visibility as your pages end up competing with each other for rankings, splitting their SEO value instead of working together. For larger sites, this problem becomes even worse as multiple pages with the same content confuse both search engines and users. While fixing this error isn't always urgent, it is highly recommended to fix this indexing issue so both search engines and users can easily navigate the site. To find pages with this status, go to the Pages report on Google Search Console and then look at the section Why Pages Aren't Indexed. If the site has pages marked as duplicate without user selected canonical, the indexing status will appear on this list and all you have to do is click on it to find the URLs marked with this status. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, please consider subscribing. Our goal at SEO testing is to save you time so you spend less time pulling data into Excel and more time thinking about how to get more traffic from Google. Now, back to the video. Now, let's see what you can do to fix pages marked as duplicate without user selected canonical. Sometimes you may have similar or duplicate pages on a site that don't need to be there. In this scenario, the best option is to implement 301 redirects on pages you don't wish to be indexed. For example, you can do this when you have two URLs with different capitalization. Google sees upper and lowercase pages as different, so redirecting one to the other tells Google to remove redirected pages from the index. Implementing canonical tags is another good solution. You can add a self-referencing canonical to your preferred URL and point the duplicate page to that canonical. This method also handles trailing slash issues. Google sees pages with and without trailing slash as different and implementing a canonical can help with this. For pages you don't want in the index at all, adding a no index tag will remove it from search results. This solution works when URLs shouldn't appear in Google's index and the best way to achieve this goal is by implementing a noindex tag. But don't use the robots.txt file to block crawlers from accessing the pages containing the noindex tags. If you do, crawlers won't be able to see the noindex tag you added to the page and it may still appear on Google. Sometimes, the duplicate without user selected canonical error reports content that is actually duplicate or very similar. In these cases, the content should be modified to make each page unique enough for Google to consider them separate, which gives the pages a better chance of being indexed in Google search results. If you have similar blog posts, ensure they cover different aspects of the topic. If this step fails, you can try implementing canonical tags to see if Google prioritizes the pages you want. After making the necessary fixes, Go to the Pages Indexing Report and click the Validate Fix option. This will ask Google to recrawl the impacted pages and give them the opportunity to reconsider each page. Now, if you want to make the most out of your Google Search Console data, use SEO testing to set up SEO tests and know what changes to your site increase traffic. We have a 14-day free trial for you to test it. Sign up using the link in the description. Thanks for watching.